welcome to my channel. I'm Alio, and today we're going to talk about odd and even numbers, addition and subtraction. But before we get into the video, please subscribe, like, and share to my channel. Thanks for your support. Now, up to the video. Okie dokie, I'm back. So first, let's look at finding rules by answering the simple, yeah, very simple addition and subtraction questions. First, we have 2 plus 4 equals 6. Then we have 4 minus 2 equals 2. After that, we have 8 plus 6 equals 14. 8 minus 6 equals 2. 12 plus 4 equals 16. And the last one, drum roll please. We have 12 minus 4 equals 8. Did you find the rule here? Well, I did. Two numbers on the left side of the equation sign are even numbers. And the result is an even number 2. For example, let's use the first one. 2 plus 4 equals 6. 2 and 4 are both even numbers. 6, the result is 6, which is also an even number. So we have the rule. Even plus even equals even. And of course, even minus even equals even, because we have some subtraction questions here. Now, let's move on to the next set of operations. We have 5 plus 3 equals 8, 5 minus 3 equals 2, 7 plus 11, ooh, nice, 7, 11. Actually, let's not get off topic. 7 plus 11 equals 18, 11 minus 7 equals 4, 9 plus 3 equals 12, 9 minus 3 equals 6. There are also some rules in these operations. Can you find it? Well, now let's find it together. The two numbers on the left side of the, uh, um, of the equation sign are odd numbers. Yay, finally, we have some odd numbers. The result is an even number. Let's use, hmm, why not 7 plus 11 equals 18. 7 and 11 are both odd numbers. And the result is 18, which is an even number. So here we have odd plus odd equals even. And odd minus odd equals even. Now let's look at the last set of operations. We have 6 plus 3 equals 9, 6 minus 3 equals 3, 7 plus 4 equals 11, 7 minus 4 equals 3, 5 plus 12 equals 17, and 12 minus 5 equals 7. So what are the rules here? Well, to the left side of the equation mark, we have one even number and one odd number. The result is an odd number. For example, let's use hmm, 7 minus 4 equals 3. 7 is an odd number and 4 is an even number. The result is 3, which is an odd number. So it's odd plus even equals odd. Odd minus evil, even equals odd, excuse me. And again, it can work both ways. So we have even plus odd equals odd, and even minus odd equals odd. So do you think the rule of all of these are hard to remember? Well, I have a method for you because I am a wonderful person. It's called mirror method. So, have you ever looked in a mirror and say, Oh, I look beautiful today, or something like that? Well, 
If you do, you probably well, the person in the mirror is the same as yourself, right? It would be terrifying if you saw somebody else in the mirror. Well, we can use a mirror with numbers. Drum roll, please, because you're about to learn a magical thing. So you can just imagine it like this: a number is looking at itself in the mirror. If it sees a number that is the same as itself. The result is drum even. So the word "same" here doesn't mean the two numbers are exactly the same. It means that they are from the same group. So, like, well, it could be like they are both odd and they are both even. So, for example, twelve was looking at the mirror. It saw fourteen inside the mirror. Twelve and fourteen aren't exactly alike, but they come from the same groups, which means that they are both even. Well, twelve is even, and fourteen is also even. So the result is the if you remember it, it's even. So let's look at this. An even number was looking at the mirror. If it sees an even number in the mirror, the result is even. If you're wondering what this sign is, it's addition or subtraction. So it's even on the top. We have even plus even equals even. On the bottom, we have even minus even equals even. Eh, pretty cruel. Now, the same goes with. Odd numbers. So imagine it like this: odd, an odd number was looking at itself in the mirror. It saw an odd number inside the mirror. The result is even. Now let me ask you a trick question, and don't look at this because it already has the answer to it. So what if an odd number was looking at the mirror and it saw an even number? Inside the mirror, that would be terrifying. What would the result be? Well, it's odd. So, do you think this mirror method is easier? Just remember this: if, well, basically, if a number sees itself in the mirror, the result is even. If it sees A different one, then it's odd. Next, let's look at examples. So for these examples, you do not calculate, do not calculate the exact answer. You just figure out whether the well the answer is even or odd using this wonderful mirror, mirror, not mirror. It's mirror. Example. So first, ah,、uh, we have twenty-eight plus sixty-seven. Twenty-eight is an even number. So imagine that twenty-eight was looking in the mirror and it saw sixty-seven inside the mirror. Meh. So twenty-eight is the even number and sixty-seven, which is inside the mirror, is an odd number. So remember this. If it sees a different number in the mirror, then it's odd. So the result is odd. Now let's look at the next one, which is also the last one that we're gonna do, which is three hundred twenty minus twenty six. Okay, this time let's use odd and even numbers. Three hundred twenty is an even number. So, well, yeah, it is an even number. And it's a humongous even number, and twenty six is also an even number. So an even number was looking at the mirror, and inside the mirror it saw an even number. So the result is odd. Got it? Wait, actually, oopsie daisy. Ahem, it's not odd. It's even. Sorry. Next. Let's look at the next one. Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna find a pattern here. 
I'm sure you all know what two plus two is, right? Well, it's four. What about three twos? It's six. Four twos? It's eight. Well, probably you would know this if you know your multiplication tables. I have a multiplication song on my channel, and you can watch it. And then, five twos is ten, six twos is twelve, and so on. So, did you find a pattern here? Well, I did. So, it is no matter how many twos you add, you're gonna have an even number. So the sum of all even numbers is even. Next one. So if you think no matter how many even numbers you add, the result is going to be even, then does it work with odd numbers? Well, let's figure out. What plus one equals two? That's easy. Three ones equals three. Four ones equals four. Five ones equals five. Six ones equals six. Seven ones equals seven, and eight ones equals eight, and so on. So, did you find something here? Well, I did. Let's look at the numbers that are circled in purple. These numbers are two, four, six, and eight. If you haven't noticed, these are the even numbers. So here, let's start with two. If you have two ones, the result is two. Four ones is four. Six ones is six, and eight ones is eight. So if you have an even number of ones, the result is even. Next, let's look at the numbers that are circled in yellow. Well, it's an orangey yellow, but let's not get off topic. So it's three, five, and seven. They are the odd numbers, even versus odd. That whole just kidding. If you have three ones, that equals three. If you have five ones, that equals five. If you have seven ones, that equals seven. So, if you have an odd number of ones, the result is the little run. Well, you know, it's odd. So, these are the rules. The sum of even number of odd numbers is even. The sum of odd number of odd numbers is odd. Well, that's hard to say. It's kind of like a tongue twister.、Mm, never mind. Now let's look at some examples. So the rules are the same. No calculating. And you have to figure out whether the result is even or odd. So first we have twenty-three plus eleven plus nineteen plus thirty-seven plus three plus fifty-five. No calculating, or else you're cheating. So let's see. All of them have one thing in common. They are all odd numbers. So let's count how many odd numbers we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six odd numbers, which means we have an even number of odd numbers. So the sum of even number of odd numbers is even. So the result is even. One done. Two more to go, because three is a lucky number. So here we have one hundred and one plus twenty three plus forty five plus two hundred thirty five plus seventeen plus twenty nine plus thirty three. So they are still all odd numbers. Let's count how many odd numbers we have: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Ooh, unusual. We have an odd number of odd numbers. So, the odd, well, the sum of odd numbers of odd numbers is odd. Well, that's odd. <laughs> nice. The result is odd. So now let's look at the last one. 
It's twenty two plus twenty six plus forty eight plus two hundred thirty six plus sixteen plus twenty eight plus thirty two. This time they are all even numbers. Since I gave you a hint, now pause this video and try to figure it out. Pause. Nah, and pause. I'm bored. Let's figure it out together. So first, let's see how many even numbers we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, seven again. So seven is an odd number. So we have an odd number of even numbers. Nice. So the sum of all even numbers is even. The result is even. Well, that's all for today. Bye bye. And always remember this: math is fun.